Hi, my name is Wendell Davis. Today's pro tip for you is route running. Once you get into your routes, you want your eyes up the field. You want to look the defender in the eyes at all times. Because a couple of things, defenders are looking for tips. They're looking for you to give them a tip on when you're going to stop and when you're going to make your break. And one of the things they look for, they look at your eyes. If your eyes go down like you're looking for keys, like you lost something, they know that you're getting ready to stop. So you keep your eyes up, looking at the defender at all times, not giving it away. The other thing is you want to keep your arms in. You don't want your arms to be spread out when you're getting ready to make a break. When you spread your arms out, that gives them a tip. He's getting ready to do something. He's getting ready to, to make a break. He's getting ready to make a move. So you want to keep your arms in at all times, and you want to work them all the way through your routes. And we'll demonstrate to you how to do that. First of all, keeping your head up. Keep your head up. When you get into your routes and running your stem, as you'll see, Dion's going to come up and he's going to look at me the whole way. Hut! The whole way. Do not drop your head down. Now, if he drops his head down, hut! I'm going to stop as a defender because I know he's getting ready to do something. The other tip, your arms. Keep your arms in. You know, you're coming off the ball, going up field. Keep your arms in at all times. Hut! He's coming to the field, arms are moving, moving. And he can stop and make his breaks at all times. But the thing you don't want to do is this. You get your arms to flying up when you're getting ready to break. See, he's going to run about three or four yards and break. Hut! He does that, he's fly that's, that's going to make me stop because I see he's getting ready to do something. What you want to do is keep him in at all times. If he's going to break at three yards, keep the arms in, pump him all the way through the break. Hut! Perfect. It's important that you know your routes, that you know what's called, and you know uh, what angles to take. There's different angles. Remember, we still want to run on our stem. Our stem is that imaginary line that's straight up the field, that everything, all your routes come off that stem. But you have to be able to also make adjustments. And when I say take the right angles, meaning this, if a defender is on your outside and you know you have a route that's going to go inside, you don't want to give him the advantage of you just running straight up the field, come straight at the field, and he pushing you inside over to over your route. You want to give him the advantage. What you want to do, you want to stretch things out in your route. If this guy is playing on the outside of you, for those more in the high school, college level or pro level and zones you want to stretch zones so the best way to do that he's going to attack me he's going to attack this outside shoulder in order to get me to widen out okay this way he's still protecting that and he's widening that zone so here he's going to push me to my outside shoulder i'm going to widen out he's going to get back on his stem and get back into his route that way the whole the defense is still stretched out, still stretched out. Just another way to get off the ball, another way to, to uh, get into your route, another way to uh, stretch the defense out and to get back on your stem. And you can also do that from the inside position. If the guy's playing here on your inside, you can threaten him to the inside, give him to move down, but you get back on your stem. Get back on your stem and get back into your route. And it also can be used as angle if the guy is straight over you. If the guy is straight over you, you know which, which you, know you need to go inside, you know you need to go outside, you need to know what angle you need to go at. So if you need to go outside, you need to angle which way? If you're going to go outside, you can push me here. You can push me, make me, you got to make me move, and then you can go back outside. But you have to take an angle. When you take an angle, it doesn't mean you run here. Angles, you have to go outside that outside leg so to get that defender to move. As you get into running your route, running a, a crossing route, a crossing route is typically uh, your route that's probably uh, anywhere from 10 to 15 yards deep. Sometimes it's shorter. Uh, it can be a six to eight yard crossing route. But at any rate, when you're running a, a, a crossing route, uh, 
when you get into your routes, you want to make sure you're coming straight up field, straight up field, right on your stem until you get to your 10 to 15 uh, yard mark. And once you get to that 10 to 15 yard mark, uh, it's very crucial that you stay flat. So right now we're going to demonstrate uh, to you right now uh, the, the crossing route. As Dion comes off the football, he's going to come off the football, he's going to stay straight, stay straight until he gets to his mark. When he gets to his mark, he's going to break down. And the tip that I want to share with you today is once you break down and get ready to go across the field, you want to make sure that you stay flat. Staying flat as he turns and goes flat, he's going to go flat right across the field. Uh, this really creates separation between the defender and you. Uh, as you come back to the top of the route, let me show you what happens when you, when you don't stay flat. When you come out of your route and you don't stay flat and the defender's back here and you're drifting up here, it's a shorter distance for the defender to get to you and get to you in between the football. So the tip today is to stay flat on your crossing routes. As you're coming up the field, you come out of your route, you want to stay flat so it gives the defender a longer uh, a run to get to you and to the ball.